In this lesson, we are going to learn how to install Docker Desktop in Windows 10. So, first of all, we need to download the Docker Desktop. In Google, type Download Docker Desktop. Now, click the first link that is docker.com products docker desktop. Click on this download docker desktop icon. Right now, docker desktop installer.exe is getting downloaded. The download is complete. Let me go to that folder. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this installer as an administrator. So, do a right click, click on run as administrator. You can see this particular UI popping up installing docker desktop verifying package basically this is the initialization process so here there are two options use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V which is a recommended and add shortcut to desktop I'll keep them as is let me click OK now it's unpacking different files I would pause the recording as it would take a while once there is an update I will resume the recording. Currently, the installation is in progress. Now, the message that it shows is the installation succeeded. You must restart Windows to complete the installation. So, I am going to click this particular button and restart. Once the computer restarts, I will resume the recording. Now, after the restart, let me try to open this Docker desktop. Let me double click so after the system is restarted we can see this particular ui for docker is popping up let me accept this docker desktop is starting you can see wsl2 installation is incomplete so the message says the wsl2 linux kernel is now installed using a separate msi update package please click the link and follow the instruction instructions to install the kernel update and this is the link provided and also press restart after installing the linux kernel so let me click on this particular link let me close this okay so i need to download this particular latest package let me open this in a separate tab so the package is downloaded let me go to the download location if i go back to the page what it says run the update package downloaded in the previous step so let me do it let me double click on this click next finish okay let me go back to the browser i have downloaded and installed what it says set wsl2 as your default version this should be a PowerShell command. I'm copying this particular command from here. Let me open PowerShell. Just right click over here, run as administrator, paste the command, press enter. The operation completed successfully. Step six, install your Linux distribution of choice. I need to open the Microsoft store and select my favorite Linux distribution. That is fine. Let me right click over here, open link in new tab, open. Let me maximize this. Go to search, type Ubuntu. I can see more stars here, 281. So that is more frequently used. So let me select this. On the right hand side, click this get icon. I don't want to sign in. Click on no thanks. Click on install again. So the downloading is in progress. Now this product is installed, click launch, it is saying installing, this may take few minutes, let's wait for a while, enter a username, you can enter any username of your choice, press enter, new password, I have entered my password, press enter, type the same password again, press enter, password updated successfully, installation successful, so now this Ubuntu or that this Linux is installed. Let me go back to the browser. What are the remaining requirements? So this is showing all the steps that I have already done. Then there is a step to install the Windows terminal. This is optional, so I'm not going to do it. Let me go back here. Docker desktop failed to start. So I need to restart my system as per the initial message so let me restart this one once the machine restart is complete and the machine boots up we will resume the recording
now the system restart is complete let me click on this particular icon okay before clicking the icon this docker desktop has popped up so i did not need to click it let's see whether it starts or not ideally i think it should be starting now because the wsl2 related parts whatever steps were required we completed those and after the restart it should be working fine let's wait and see as per this message on the left hand side the docker engine is starting now okay now the docker installation is complete it's showing the initial tutorial for docker i don't want that click on skip tutorial so this is the containers section i don't have any containers or images or volumes or anything everything is blank so what we have done in windows 10 we have installed docker successfully initially we started the installation and in the middle it required certain wsl2 related steps then it required another restart finally it is installed successfully